Hello everyone, this is your 5 and welcome to the Cloverman Central Toy Review. And today so we'll be looking at the 1988 release by Hasbro of the G.I. Joe Vehicle Review. And today's vehicle review we'll be looking at the Cobra Imp. Now I got this string from eBay and I actually won this in a bid. Yes, an auction bid and I was quite lucky that I actually win this at a like $6.99. Of course not counting shipping, shipping is about $15 there, but really worth it because I not only get the Vilco, I also gotten the box itself, very nice. Now let's take a look at the front portion of the box itself, especially on the artwork, I really love the 80s release of the G.I. Joes itself because the artwork is very nicely done, especially on the whole detail for the entire Cobra M is being shown there. And if you're wondering what's a Cobra M, the Cobra M is a small little tank that equipped with three ambush missiles, that's according to what is written there. And even, well, in the brackets it's also written, weapons that do not shoot. So we have three ambush missiles. So we have the Cobra M, well, carrying the three ambush missiles into the battlefield and launch these missiles up in the skies. And once the missiles are up in the skies in its targeted area it well breaks apart and drops all those yellow mines as you can see in the middle portion of the missiles those are the mines itself onto the battlefield causing massive amount of explosion I really like this vehicle because it sort of makes sense and semi-realistic in a way further than that it also comes from a machine gun in the front now the M and the artwork itself is being manned by a Toxo Viper which makes no sense at all why a Toxo Viper is manning a Cobra M didn't know they are qualified to even drive tanks in the first place but it's a very nice artwork of the Cobra M there bottom section there we have the really worn out sticker still in very silver metallic sticker there is still well very shiny there stated that it comes with a free metalized super trooper action figure of course in this box it doesn't come with that the price tag has been marked away with a well black marker pen on the side of the packaging itself nothing special same artwork style on the top section there nothing special just the title and the name of the vehicle bottom section is the same and so does on the other side now let's take a look at the back portion of the packaging. Here we get to see the actual picture of the Cobra M itself. And you get to see all the details being placed there, very nicely done. Here we got a small little write-up stating when Cobra wants to bottleneck the Joes into a corner, it deploys the M to keep them contained. Its three ambush surface-to-surface -surface missiles can destroy a Joe outpost within seconds. Very nice. And there's a lot of listing there featuring the features of the vehicle first we have the rotating laser gun then we have three removable ambush missiles missile dispersed 24 landmines and poseable missile missile rack there and at the bottom sturdy construction for rugged play and track treads even at the bottom of the section there stated super realistic detail very interesting now that's all for the entire packaging itself now there's also one more thing that I wanted to show is that back in the 080s for the Hasbro released G.I. Joe toys especially for the vehicles it always comes with this small little tag here which you can cut out and stated that there's a proof of purchase and there's one flag point and you can save this flag points to purchase for special GIO premiums as according to what is stated there so yes very awesome era during the 80s itself so without further ado let's take a look at the actual vehicle of the Cobra M be right back and we're back and this time we'll take a look at the actual vehicle of the Cobra M itself now let's take a look at the colors for the Cobra M there is absolutely no paint job involved for the entire vehicle because this is an 80s coin but it does well come with the original stickers that came along with the vehicle itself 
it has all the stickers there us well are fully applied from the previous owner but first let's take a look at the colors as i mentioned there are no paint job involved so both sides of the tank trays are made of a black plastic material color the body itself is made of a dark red dark red plastic material color the wheels as you can see in the bottom section then there are two wheels the laser turret or the machine gun turret the two prongs inside of the vehicle this is meant for stabilizing the missile rack and 24 of the missile landmines there all the mines 24 pieces of them are made of a yellow plastic material color the missile rack is made of a dark gray plastic material color and the missiles themselves are made of silver plastic material color very nice now as i mentioned before the stickers are still there after all these years as you can see that there's the name of the vehicle imp 095 there and there's also a cobra logo here speaking of a cobra logo there's a whole bunch of cobra logos being found throughout the entire vehicle there's a small cobra logo on one side here three of the missiles there is also laden with well at the tip of the missiles with cobra logos the missile rack there's also cobra logos there it's like, as if no one would recognize this vehicle that it belonged to cobra there's so many cobra logos being found there now let's take a look at the vehicle's details before we go to the features now the entire vehicle due to the size itself it's not really a large scale vehicle let's do a size comparison with a track viper this is the figure itself of course not meant to pilot the Cobra M as you can see the size the vehicle is semi large it's medium moderate in size but nothing as big as well compared to a his tank of course his tank is way more taller and way more longer this is a bit more smaller scale size vehicle now let's take a look at the details here the details of the vehicle is absolutely gorgeous the entire design of the tank itself looks kind of similar to world war ii german tanks very very nice i am a bit a bit avid fan of the world war ii tanks there and this is very nicely done as you can see the body of the tank itself there's a bit of slope armor going on but not really that slope down as you can see there so i doubt well any of the incoming tank projectiles that hit on the vehicle can actually deflect it due to the not really all the way slope down armor there if you compare to a his 2 tank now the tank treads there are very very well done the details of the tank treads are amazing as you can see it's quite unbelievable that Hasbro actually come up with something this detail there's a lot of wheels there we've got one larger wheel at the back one mid more than moderate size wheel in the front here smaller wheels can be found two on the top one at the bottom there's a well half of a wheel at the bottom here smaller wheel here there's a lot of well gears going on there a lot of details being applied onto the entire vehicle there's a lot of rivets as well for the wheels inside the wheel there's a lot of rivets very nice a lot of gears a lot of prongs there very nicely done same goes with the other side of the tank treads there but at the bottom section of the vehicle if you look past the two yellow wheels there's also quite a number of details there are four springs going on not too sure what they are meant for a lot of wires a lot of details of some mechanical gadgetry there very nice even in the inside of the vehicle there's a bit of well details as well especially on the side here there's a bit of wiring as well very nice now back portion of the vehicle interestingly enough there's a bit of a hookup there so you can hook up to a cobra abs or a whirlwind twin guns or the heat sink missile system the sms you can actually hook it up at the back here also there's two platforms each platform actually has a large paint it's meant to place well one figure per platform but the problem is 
due to the placement of the platform there and you have a huge missile rack here to place the figure that is a bit difficult here we have the track viper again and I'm gonna plug the paint there onto the track viper as you can see it actually felt like when you place the figure at the back portion of the vehicle it looks like he's well trying his best not to fall off from the vehicle so that's the bad point of the platform if it's a bit more longer then it's still acceptable this is like struggling for the figure to well try to hang on to the vehicle and not fall off you know so the back portion of the platform is not really well done then let's not forget we have the machine gun turret here or the laser gun turret rather oversized i really don't like the oversized machine gun there but then again this is an 80s toy you can actually see on the other side of the machine gun there's a small little handle there for the figure to hold on to then we have the driver's seat you got a monitor screen a smaller handle for the figure to hold on to probably a gear stick and inside the well a smaller hole there this is where the seating is where you place the figure inside it's a rather deep hole very nicely done and let's not forget once you pull the prongs up the missile rack up there's also tons of details inside the vehicle this is the engine part itself and there's a lot of nice details inside the vehicle very nice then we have the three missiles the three missiles is well they are basically missiles not as detailed as compared to the tank itself but still very nicely done got the missile racks as well very nice now let's take a look at the Cobra Im's features first will it roll considering it has a pair of wheels there so yes it does roll but it doesn't roll very well well considering that the way they place the wheels itself it's a bit too small for the wheels so it can roll but it doesn't roll all the way as you can see possibly due to the weight itself then we have the machine gun post here that can actually so 360 degrees the missile rack here can actually be pulled up thanks to the prongs itself but you have to be careful with the prongs itself when you try to pull the missile rack because as you can see it uses this two long tin piece of a peg there to try to stabilize the missile rack and you can see at the end edges of the pegs there it starts to warm out the other one just goes all the way inside so it's that's the bad flaw of the design that it's not sturdy enough it's not strong enough every time you try to pull this missile rack up and down because as you can see there's a lot of this sort of well bumps there that's meant to stabilize and well hold the entire missile rack when it goes to the two pegs there and every time you try to move up and down it tends to wiggle the two pieces and eventually you know you will weaken, weaken the two plastic parts there and break them that's the bad point there so when you want to buy a Cobra Im you have to be careful on those parts there now other than that we have the three missiles and yes each of the missiles can be removed by sliding out from the missile rack as you can see this is the entire missiles there and you can actually pull it out like so and this is the, the land mines they are a total of 24 pieces now the most common parts that break and that goes missing for a Cobra M is the missiles the mines itself the machine gun and more common parts that will break there's these two pieces there missing parts would be the missile or the landmines and the machine gun other than that the entire vehicle is absolutely gorgeous gorgeous indeed now let's try to place the figure inside the Cobra M again I'm gonna use the track viper all you have to do is just have the figure well slide in like so 
And there you have it. His arm is popped out. He's basically standing, not really sitting, but there you have it. You can have to figure man the machine gun, but it's kind of weird because the driver has to, well, stand all the way up just to hold the machine gun. You can see that. Very nice vehicle. And you must be wondering, is it compatible to fit a 25th anniversary figure or 30th anniversary figure? I have with me the 30th anniversary Cobra Viper. Now all you have to do is just do the same thing with the track Viper and slip the figure into the vehicle like so. He's a bit more taller but at least it makes more sense. As you can see, there you have it. The Cobra Viper is now sitting or at least standing onto the vehicle itself well, in the driver's seat itself. You can have the figures sit more deep inside by adjusting the knees itself but very nice. Overall I really love the vehicle. Despite that the platform at the back is not really well done and the most common problems being with the Cobra M is the two pieces that stabilize the entire missile rack there. It's not really well done either. It's not very sturdy. And we have a very ridiculously large laser gun machine gun there. I really don't like this. But the entire vehicle looks very nice. The amount of details you get is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. And if you can find this less than $10, get it. But make sure that it's fully complete. And make sure that there are no missing parts. And these two pieces are not worn out. But most of the time you won't be able to see it depends on the seller you have to ask the seller about it so if I'm gonna give a rating on this this is a re this is my favorite toy for the 80s of the GI Joe vehicle line itself this is my favorite vehicle so I'm gonna give it a nice 9 out of 10 because the amount of colors for the Cobra M is ver there's a lot of variety there and I really like it that there's a lot of awesome details being placed for the figure uh, the, for the vehicle my bad and i really like the concept of the vehicle itself being as a well a vehicle that launches missiles that drops down well landmines so it's sort of realistic in a way very nicely done very sturdy except for the two pieces inside so 9 out of 10 for the cobra m I thank you all for watching. This is Lucy05 and I'm signing off.